Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to try and recreate my representation of this USA Today chart that you see here, or I should say an infographic. You've seen a lot of these in the world nowadays, especially newspapers, magazines, websites, things like that. So this is soccer mainstays. This is uh, women's soccer, a national soccer team. How many appearances has each player had? And uh, just has some soccer balls up here. Has a bar chart. Has a soccer player embedded in there. Um, interesting thing I thought about this was, you know, these bars are rounded and then soccer balls on there. As you can see above, I've got my representation of that chart. Not an exact representation, but I thought it had some really cool concepts that I wanted to share with you today. First off, we do have this graphic here um, that is floating on top of the bar charts. Um, also, uh, we have uh, soccer balls floating here um, with semicircles or half moons um, of our bar charts floating in front of this as well. So let me show you the few tricks that I did to make this chart, this infographic happen. All right, first off, we have our chart data. We've got our players over here on the left. Uh, we have our appearances here um, in the center, or in the next column, and what we need to do is we need to um, create our chart data. So let's go back and take a look at the chart and talk a little bit about how I built it. First off, we have a bar chart, which is uh, left to right horizontal bars. Then I've got a section right here that you just can't see that has this cutout, uh, and it is going to be represented in another series of data. Um, then finally, we have a soccer ball here. Uh, that is floating above it. It is the third data series that we're going to have in our chart data. So we've got our appearances, so we now need to do our bar series, and we also need the um, half moon series, I'm going to call it. Um, and then finally, we need that soccer ball series that I just showed you as well. Uh, let's expand those out just a little bit. Um, okay, so our bar, um, the bar actually is going to be a calculation of it's going to be equal to our appearances minus whatever value we give in the half moon and whatever value we give in the soccer ball. This will make sure that our data is actually correct uh, when we build our chart. Now um, you're going to have to play around with some of these numbers uh, to build your chart but we're just going to go ahead and represent the half moon with 20 and the soccer ball with 20 for right now. That is going to reduce our bar down to 258 and what we want to then do is just go ahead and copy this series down uh, throughout all of the series for each one of the players. All right, now we have our chart data set up. Let's go ahead and build some of those other parts of the chart that you saw. First off, we need to create that half moon. To do that, we want to go up to our insert ribbon. We want to go over and find our shapes and we want to first find this rectangle shape. So let's just click on the rectangle and I'm gonna build a rectangle shape. Let's do something about like that big. Let's go ahead and take off the shape outline. We'll say no outline. Um, and then also, let's set the color. Let's do a fill color. Now, we've got this blue color chosen here, blue accent one. We'll make sure it's got that color. All right, now, next thing we need to do is we need to create the half moon part of that shape. Go back to your insert ribbon. Go to your shapes choice. And we're going to choose this basic shape, this oval right here. Um, now, you can draw your oval. Now, um, notice it's an oval. I, I, I really want a circle. Sometimes you can hit the circle just right. If you end up holding your control key down, it will make a circle for you uh, instead of the oval. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of expand that out a little bit more. And let's go ahead and place it right about there. Let's take that shape outline out again and now we have two shapes. I'm just going to position it with my keyboard a little bit more. Ah, it looks pretty good. So now I want to highlight both of these shapes. I'm going to do control C and I'm going to go ahead and open up PowerPoint and uh, let's go ahead and show our not collapse our ribbon here. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste these two shapes into PowerPoint and as you can see we have those two shapes there. Now what you want to do is under your format ribbon there's a really cool little uh, um, choice here called merge shapes under the insert shapes 
and you can actually do a subtract option under merge shapes. Learned this for Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, thought this was awesome and remembered that's how I can go ahead and create that half moon shape. Alright, so now we've merged the shapes, you notice that circle part of it's gone. It's just this half moon right now. Let's expand that out a little bit and you can see what that looks like. Alright, let's make it a little smaller. We've got that shape done. Let's go ahead and go ahead and control C, copy that. Go back over to Microsoft Excel, and we're going to paste that for our use here in a little bit. Make that probably a little bit smaller. Okay, so now um, what we want to do is we want to insert a soccer ball um, that I found a picture out on the web. Um, we're going to have that as our soccer ball series. Um, so let's go ahead and find that. I'm just going to go ahead and go up to my insert ribbon and do insert picture and insert find that image on your computer and insert it now uh, looking at the soccer ball um, it's got a white as background that's kind of important because my background shape is going to be white in my chart um, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and crop this shape uh, so make sure you click on the sh uh, not the shape but the picture click on the picture go up to your format ribbon go ahead and hit your crop button and then on this crop we want to make the left side kind of close to the soccer ball Actually, why don't we just go ahead and do all sides really close to the soccer ball. It doesn't need to be exact because this is going to replace a rectangle within the chart itself. We just have to make sure it has a flat, straight edge uh, that we're going to ultimately put up against this shape that you see here. All right, so we have our soccer ball um, created. Now what we need to do is we had that floating image um, of the soccer girl on top of my infographic. Let's go ahead and show you some real cool technique about that as well. We're going to go ahead and find that picture on your computer. Uh, I found one on the internet. had like a white background and a black uh, shape. Uh, so let's go ahead and insert that um, from our computer as well. Okay, so we have our soccer girl image here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back into PowerPoint again. I'm going to use a really cool technique I saw out here. This one I found on my own. I wish I could give credit to someone on it. Um, but what I want to do is, you'll notice it's got this white background. And so if I put that within a chart, it's just going to cover up all the bars in my chart. So I want to get rid of this background. Uh, we'll know that we get rid of it because I'm going to place it on top of that blue shape right there. I'm going to select my picture. I'm going to go up to the Format ribbon. Um, and then under the Format ribbon, you've got Remove Background option within Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now it comes up with uh, what is your image that you want to do. I'm going to have to expand out those dots to the whole image. Um, and you can see it's got some pink and it's got some blacks here. It says Mark Areas to Remove, Mark Areas to Keep up here on the top left. I'm going to go ahead and click on the mark areas to remove and I'm going to put these little dots here in the uh, purple areas and so that that will get rid of all of those different areas um, and let's actually zoom in here a little bit a little bit more because we want to get a little more precise control um, over what we're doing alright so let's do mark areas to remove so I think I've got enough of those marked well maybe we'll do one just back here by the foot uh, and in between the arm and make sure we get the hair now you might see it looks like there's a gap there but just in case there's a little black dot I'm gonna make sure I put uh, some of those areas to remove so we get rid of as many as possible now let's do the mark areas to keep I'm gonna click on the black here in a few areas just to make sure we get it all um, also I want to keep this black in the black ball down here even want to choose that black one there that it missed also want to get the ground down here on the bottom. Let's put a couple of those in there. Um, and that's probably good enough. So let's go ahead and say keep changes. And look at that. It's gotten rid of the background. You can now see I can place this on top of my uh, logo graphic. It's on top of that graphic. It's got the ball. Um, so I thought that was a really cool technique to remove the backgrounds. Now let's go ahead and control C copy that soccer player. Let's go back to Microsoft Excel. Um, and let's just... Uh, uh, go ahead and paste it in here as well. So now we have our everything that we need for our chart. Um, what we want to do now is uh, let's just clean up our chart area around here and let's create our chart. These are the different shapes that we're going to use. We want to highlight this data range. want to go up to our insert ribbon. We want to choose the insert bar chart and we want to do a stacked bar chart. 
All right, so there is our chart. Um, now, what we want to do is uh, this first one, this um, uh, actually what we need to do first is switch our rows and columns. So select your chart, go up to your design ribbon, and let's go ahead and change or do the select switch rows and columns. So we have Carrie Lloyd, Heather O'Reilly, Abby Wambach, and Christy Rampoon. Uh, a Rampone and um, so we have our chart getting set up right now what we want to do is this you'll notice um, over here on the left uh, if I click on this blue series it is the appearances uh, column column B we do not need that series so I'm gonna select it with my mouse and hit my delete key we were just using that for our calculation alright so uh, this uh, next one is the bar series so we're gonna leave that alone for right now but since we're gonna do this in a blue color Let's change the fill type and do format data series by right clicking on that series. Go up to your fill options and let's change it to that blue accent one color that we saw before. And there we go. Now uh, we also need to switch our uh, vertical axes here of our names and categories. We want to right click on that vertical axis, do format axis and then down here we have categories in reverse order let's go ahead and click on that alright looking good so far um, <clears throat> also uh, this series I want this to be a little wider so let's format that data series and do our gap width to be something oh in the magnitude of maybe let's say about 50 or so alright great um, <clears throat> so you can see our uh, chart data here goes out to about 298 which is the very first appearances all the way down to around 170 with the three call the three series all together alright so the um, let's make this just a little bit bigger um, now the next thing we, we want to do is we want to go ahead and replace this green shape which is our half moon and so you do that by um, coming out and we want to grab that shape that we did where we subtracted the two shapes do control C to copy let's go into our chart and click on the half moon series we know we have that selected over here in column D and do control V paste look at that we now have a half moon within our bar series uh, just by replacing that shape now what we want to do is replace these purple uh, columns or bars which represent our soccer ball series so click on your soccer ball that's outside of your chart do control C for copy come into your chart select that data series and do control V to paste um, now you'll notice it doesn't exactly look um, perfect sometimes you might have to stretch your chart out just a little bit uh, to get it a little bit more perfect shaped uh, for a soccer ball maybe you want it bigger as well um, alright so uh, last few things we need to do is we can go ahead and delete our vertical or horizontal axes of numbers we can delete our grid lines um, we don't need this legend anymore we probably want to give it a title like uh, uh, soccer uh, appearances and <clears throat> also what we then want to do is we want to overlay our shape of the soccer girl uh, so I'm going to go outside my chart and click on it do control C click anywhere in my chart and do control V and there she is and since we've removed that background you can kind of place her anywhere that you want um, looking pretty close to the sample we showed before um, final thing is we want to put the values of uh, labels we want to do data labels on top of these soccer balls so to do that what you want to do is select your soccer ball go up to your design ribbon do add chart element we want to do data labels and let's do them in the center now this is a special option in 2013 Microsoft Excel if you then go ahead and select those data labels do right click and do format uh, data labels you'll see one of the options is to do values from cell so let's check that one we want to then select our data range and we want to do our appearances from B to B, B2 to to B5 click on OK we can get rid of show leader lines show value we've got it on the center and we should be good If we want to make those any bigger we can go control B for bold we can go to our home menu and change the overall font size of those um, and uh, there you kinda have it so what we were able to do is we were able to create our own USA Today style information graphic or infographic uh, looks very similar uh, to the one that you see uh, just uh, different choices um, so it looks very similar to the one you saw here in USA Today um, so I thought those introduced a couple of cool tricks uh, so once again you might want to consider using Microsoft Excel um, 
in conjunction with Microsoft PowerPoint to do a couple of those really cool features like removing the background of this uh, soccer girl here also uh, making it so that you can create these unique shapes that you can replace within your bar chart um, as you saw here in this half moon series so I thought those were some really cool ways that you can make your own infographics within Excel once again please visit my blog at excel dashboard templates com where you can download this sample file you can also find other great posts tips tricks and techniques learn everything about Excel also, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.